And we're live. And I need to click the right thing. There we go. Click the right thing. Click the right thing. Hold on. Not the left one. Nope, nope. We got a problem because people have changed their names in Discord. Uh, True Pandora and Patriot, change your name back so that we can get everybody in the right order on OBS. You don't tell me what to do. Well, right yeah, you're now, you're currently Mularn. Yeah, you're now a wizard, and I am playing you. So there's got to be gloop and glorp everywhere. Ew. Anyway, hello, internet. How are y'all doing? Yeah. It's the internet. Yay, internet. Interwebs are happy. It, is that better, Hewitt? Uh, yeah, that actually fixed absolutely everything for me. I very much appreciate it. Your new Glorples. So is this, so we had new bells in the first game, and now we got new Glorp? Yeah. Or just Glorples. I don't know. I'm just here. No, y'all will have to go save Glorples so Glorples and Gestalt can meet each other. Anyway, hello, Internet. We are playing Holy Winds again this Monday, and uh, the quick recap from last week is... Wait, I have a question now. What? What's your question? If two gelatinous cubes fought, how would one of them win? The larger one wins. It's just, it they, just, turns, they it just turns into, into each sex. other and then uh, absorb. Yeah, and whoever out. does the more absorption wins. Just turns into six. Yeah, it, it's kind of it, it, it overlaps. It overlaps, you know. Thanks, Moose. I hate it. There's no to, traditional. You had to make it weird. What? Why would you say that? Have you met Moose? Yes. yes. Ever? He makes everything weird. I find that to be very hateful. It's her superpower. It's true. Yeah, I don't think he makes cornbread weird. I don't know. I wouldn't put it past him. I mean, because it's mostly because I don't know if he makes cornbread or not. So if he doesn't make it, he can't make it weird. Anyway. Oh, good. Anyway, so last game, uh, started going through and finding some records, uh, some of which that could be read, some of which that couldn't be read. Uh, found four blank checks that were given to the worst person I could give those to. Cannon's going to have cannons now. And uh, the rest of the party met God, or a God, the elven god Coralon, who was crucified up, uh, upside down to a tree that seemed to be rotting. So, uh, we'll pick up there. Uh, we'll start with Tarl. Tarl, you and uh, Dreyfus and the familiars are still standing on that ledge about 30 feet up and away down the hallway from where everybody else is now. My, I was, I was going to send my brother up with a rope to, uh, so they could rappel down. Your brother is still mostly blind. I wasn't aware of that at the moment. <laughs> you are still, I guess in character, you aren't aware of that. That's true. Correct. Didn't he fall off and crash into Peregrine? Yep. He, he bumped into Perry's back. But starting off with Tarl, what are you doing with the rest of the party down there? In front of a tree. Stand, I'm gonna stand here and continue to watch. With my hammer ready. Okay, so you're gonna stay back and just keep an eye on it from, like, the distance you're at. I'm going to smash that big fella if he moves. I'm going to figure out what the hell's going on before I get up in the melee. Okay. Dreyfus is going to stay back with you and the very large, noisy refrigerator that is uh, one of the familiars. I keep forgetting his name. Colodets. Uh, Colodets. And then uh, I'm going to say y'all watch uh, Aspic just spider monkey his way down and start quickly doing a tiny toddler straight leg run towards uh, Gestalt. It's okay. He won't hurt you, I think. 
It just shows up. All right, for the rest yes. of the party that's in front of Corallon, who had just literally looked directly at uh, Arvax. Arvax, it's disconcerting for you mostly because of your own religious beliefs. A god just looked directly at you and noted you. So what is, uh, let's start off with, uh, we'll start off with down twin, Mulak. Yes. What What are you doing at this moment? I'm. You just bumped into Perry off your broom. I know it's her. I would say you know what one big, large, and you probably heard her go oof, or make a noise. I'll just say, uh, hold me. She's just gonna... He bumped into her back, right? She's just gonna reach behind him and, like, kind of hold him on, like, the bicep kind of under the shoulder. Like, you'd hold, like, a toddler that's, like, falling into a tantrum. And she's just kind of loosely holding him up like that. (laughs) I'll stay there and wait till my vision comes back. But I'm, like, listening to what's going on. Your your vision is, at this point, that darkness at the edge is you're starting to pick up shapes in it. Okay. It looks like you're slowly getting your vision back. At this point, more or less, Mulak, uh, the reason your vision is out is you did detect magic and look straight at God. Correct. So you, you stared into the heart of the sun. You cast a tech magic and then looked at it. You almost arced at the covenant yourself. Right, pretty much. It's like, ah, it'll be fine. Just a little bit of melted eyeballs. Yeah, it's also the melted face, man. Or you like that one dude whose head explodes. Hope Some not. Eldritch abomination trapped inside the Ark of the Covenant that does that to people's faces. So there's a god here. That's Steve. The the god's name is Steve? No, it's not Steve. No. See, remind me, did you roll a check at the end of the last game, uh, Mularn, upon seeing this guy? Uh, I believe you did. Yes, I know who I, I, I am. Uh, you are, yeah, you did. You got 24 religion. Mularn, Mularn's the one who stated who. Okay, it's been a week, guys. Yeah. So. Uh, Mularn stated it, and then we all rolled to see if we knew who the fuck that was. So, uh, yeah, we'll go to other twin, Mularn. What, what, what's going through your head as you stare at the literal chief deity of the religion that that your family has paid lip service to, and there's an empire based off of being crucified upside down on a tree? Oh, I meant to ask. I meant to ask this earlier. Is he? He's crucified upright. He's not upside down. No, he's upside down. Oh, he is. Okay, he is upside down. And when you looked at him, it looked like he was almost woven into the tree with threads, like all around his body and over him and through him. Mm-hmm. Before you went blind, that is. So. My head hurts because it's like five things running through my head right now. I, I'm going to look. I'm going to look at our vaccine. Do, 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 do you know? Do you know what? Do, do you know what this means? I, I'm kind of puzzling out exactly what it means right now because okay. I have several theories. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm just. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna kind of spitball because if I don't, my head's gonna explode. Okay. Um. So. Uh. Somebody might want to take notes. Um, so, 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 did the asshole that we just meet um, know that he was here? Did the first guy that we met, that was a copy of the second, uh, that was a copy of the asshole that we just that we just dealt with, does he know that he was here? If he does, who is he? It may, maybe this guy sent him. Um, if he's here, and if the if the theocracy if the elf knows about it, then 
that's not good thing. That means every that means everybody in theocracy is bad. Um, if but, they don't but, know but about wait. him, huh? But wait, they other asshole was here because they were trying to figure out why it looked like they had a claim to it. And the thing that each of memories and shit was here. So yeah. they might have known at some point, but they don't know now, and he hadn't figured it out yet. Because I didn't come across anything about this in my in the books I found, right? DM? Say that again for me, you cut out for a second on mine. I didn't I didn't find any mention of him finding Coralon, the god of the elves, in this nope. cavern. No, it seems like he had it seems like they went down the cavern y'all went to and found an empty chamber. Because the books that we could read, he didn't say anything about this. He would have said if he had found God. So I think at some point they knew he was here and then the 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 Hydra thing ate the memory of it being here and they know uh -huh. there's something here, but uh -huh. they don't know yet. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Also, um if that if that's if that's true, then we then huh, I don't know if I can if if I, if we if we can get if we can get him out of here. Is that a good idea? I mean, like maybe he's I don't, literally I don't, the patron. He okay, well, this Arvac, well, Arvac well, is literally the patron deity of the people who are trying to kill us. I, I feel like this whole time, like the 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 high pitch of this conversation has been slowly going up and up and like Baragrin's hearing is starting to ring. Uh, Gestalt, what are you doing as these two seem to be talking about uh, what seems almost be a series of conspiracy theories compiling into one thought from your, from your wizard? <laughs> like, huh? Interesting. I look at the figure. It's like, so, uh, you know the meaning of life? It looks at you, or it turns its head, or they turn their head slightly towards you, and you hear within your skull, 42. Wow. This is worthless. So, life is meaningless, everyone. <laughs> Do you know what? Do you know what the religion is like right now, or no? Or is he cool with it? He's hey, he's he's artifacts. He's hanging upside down from a tree. Well, he's still a god. Yeah, but he's also hanging upside down from a tree. That must yeah. be one powerful, powerful tree. Yeah, it's, it's, exactly. It's just you know how what kind of a situation he's got to be in to be hanging upside down from a tree and not be able to get and not be able to get out of, get out of it himself. Yeah. Y'all are all doing this in front Peregrine. Uh they're still talking about this. Maybe uh, he wants to be in the tree? I don't think he wants to be in the tree. So Perry, Mulak. Peregrine's honestly okay with kind of taking a side seat for the time being because this is starting to go over her head. Well, so. is there do you have a question or cause I mean you're you're literally looking at a god, and I know there is a portion of your backstory you might wish to address you met my dad. The uh the head lifts. Well, it doesn't lift so much, it tilts again. And again, if anybody's close enough, you can almost see like the skins being pulled back like it's nailed re repeatedly into the side of this tree. That's why you gotta be jello. Look at the I point. Now let's see, you are Earth Ganassi, so I gotta double check which one that you are. Because I think it's a Dow. Is it's a Dow, right? Uh, For parentage. Oh, well, I don't actually know. I don't know if that was something that came up when I was looking. Okay, so uh, with with the elementals, usually they have a history, or with uh, Ganassi. Let's see. Do 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 do. That's monsters of the. Let me see. <laughs> Um. Yeah, Earth Ganassi are usually born uh, from the union between between a Dao and a humanoid, or from two Earth Ganassi, which was not the case. So I went to look up Dao, and it brought me up like political bullshit. 
they look kind of like gin almost but they're like they're, jenny they're, like they don't have like feet thick, they're thicker and they're broader i believe at who's least according gin? to like five who's, who's jenny is that your mom ha 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 uh, i got her number what i got it i got it eight six seven five three oh oh god, god. Oh, god. No. let we're, we're gonna get clapped not with that rendition. That is true. What's that even in a key? We don't know. What is key? What is pitch? What is tempo? I know not these things. I just know dice. Click clack. Eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. <laughs> he did it best. He did. So yeah, it looks like the thing that has a tornado for legs and a butt. There we go. Yeah, it really is like a, a genie kind of, it seems. They're kind of based on yeah. Mongolian aesthetics, it seems. So, and Re Claire, send me a, hold on. I need to make sure cause, that I don't just start creating something whole cloth for you, because it's been, I remember something about backstories from three years ago. <laughs> uh, yeah. What, tell me what you need. I'm grabbing a drink and on my uh, way back. I, I, I sent it over Discord. Oh, shit. I'm hurrying. Uh, yeah, if you want to do uh, Mulak while I'm okay. coming back to the PD Mulak, can. Uh, Peregrine just asked God a question, or asked this God a question directly. Yeah, do you know my dad? Is that what she said? That's yeah, what she said, that's right? what she said, yeah. But we're, we're double-checking some lore stuff here. I'll just say... Oh. Do you... Do you, do you know her dad? Do you know her dad? <laughs> <laughs> What? I just like I like just like slowly back up. Do, do, do you know her dad? Uh, I, so uh, question: Do I realize that this is God? Uh, your brother just declared it was Coralon. You can give me a religion check. I think he. I think we all did, didn't we? Uh, I'm looking at past that religion check. What was what was the name of the god that tricked him and sold him to the tree? Loth. Oh, it was Loth. Okay. Eight. It's Loth. <gasps> Is Loth trying to take over his religion? Maybe. Um, if that's if that's 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 even worse. <laughs> that's even worse. I mean, I, 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 we we kind of we kind of have to try, right? Don't we? Hey, I, hmm, I want to ask him a question, but it's Peregrine asked him a question. I don't want to interrupt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll let, but we but we got to try, right? We got we got, we got to ask him something. We got I, I, we have some answers here. Like I I I I understand you come from. You, you, I understand you come from things, places that makes this difficult, but just, it, this can explain some things. This can explain right, some right. things. All right. So, uh, Perry, you hear in your head, yes, Rontham, son of the third stone. Ooh. I did not know he had a name. We always just called him the Mountain King. Good to know. Question, is he responding out loud? No, th this seems to be... Okay. Uh, if, you, if anyone wants to get close, if you'll notice that his lips are stitched shut. Did, did, did he answer you, Perry? Apparently he does know him, so okay. Oh. He just He mentions, I knew him as a pebble before he became a boulder. The boulder. The boulder, right. Right. The, right? The boulder is he's a great character. Holy crap! Right. So, so he, so he, so this guy knew your dad when he was a geo, when he was still a geo dude. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Now let's let's just make this worse. Let's start comparing the mythological creatures to oh, no. base level Pokemon. Let's get Hewitt cursed seriously. Um. I don't know how to approach this. Uh, do, do you know why Loth trapped you here? She's a usurper. That's what she does. 
We thought she had been pushed down when Tiamat was defeated. Instead, she snuck in. And now I am this, with my kin binding me here. With your kin binding you here? The other gods are binding you here? She wove them into the thread that wait. binds me to this tree. Wait, wait. You're saying that what's holding you there is the other gods in yes. the Pantheon? Yes. Oh. Oh. Wait, oh. Is, is, is that out no, loud? That's, that's, in... And then I was it's... oh, I'm alarmed. My head hurts. I'm alarmed. It's it, he's what? he do, if you ask him a question he responds directly to you. Okay. Guys. So 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 what 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 uh, what what? Uh, is it uh, good news? No. It, news? it no. It's mm, this it's is okay not my, to have existential crises. This is not my religion, okay, <laughs> Gestalt. But this is fucking me up because you see all the strings that are holding him there. Yeah, it's certainly uh certainly holding them tight. Um. Loth used the other gods in the pantheon in that string. So, so it's God string. He's held in there by the other gods of the woven branch. Ah. How long have you been here, Coralon? All of you hear this in his head, in your heads. I have been bound. For two millennia. Well, that's not that long. No. Can, can, he by, can he bypass my ring, or do, do I not hear any of this? Uh, no. You, if if your ring prevents mental intrusion, you do not hear any of this. Okay. So See, everybody else two... is seeming to have headaches and like be yelling about God talking to them, and you just still see a what looks like a mostly dead dude on the tree that everybody keeps calling Coralon. Are you aware of what goes on outside of here? Everything. Yes, it's snowing. So. <laughs> so you've been it's here very cold. for two millennia. I've been here just as long and, as you. Shut up, Milwaukee. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> you've been here with the other gods for two millennia. So. Yes. Every. So what you're telling me is that Elfine Theocracy has been worshipping Loth instead, thinking they're worshipping the rest of you? Loth. No, they are worshipping that dragon, remember? Would you shut up? Loth created the Theocracy. Ah! We did oh. not wish to what? trap others underneath us. Oh. Or force others to not that did not worship us to worship us. Oh my God! What's wrong, Garfax? It sounds like you're having a big uh, exposition moment. Y'all gotta cut him down. <laughs> kind, kind of complicated, Tar. I'll tell you in a second. Okay, well, jump, we're, we're actually gonna jump. We're gonna jump to uh, Tar. Wait, wait, wait. Um, so. They were not involved in the creation of the theocracy at all. They don't okay. believe in anything I mean, the theocracy does. It was created by Loth. In its entirety. Can I do a religion check on Loth? Uh, yes, you may. I'm also telling Moose, roll me insight to see if you can figure out the other side of this conversation because he seems to be completely left out. Uh, you can figure out that they, that what they are being told is apparently earth-breaking, and that you're, everyone else is getting messages mentally at this point, because Arvax says stuff, and then her eyes go wide, then she re seems to repeat what she was just told. Uh, uh, can I secretly slip my ring off, then? Uh, give me a sleight of hand. I will say with advantage, because everybody's distracted. 18. Yeah, you get that off. Uh, Gestalt, uh, what you know about Loth is that Loth is the Spider Queen. She is the lord of a people known as the Drow, which were elves that she had tainted to her ways. Uh, 
and that you know that from bits and pieces because of people you've consumed. Because I think at this point we've you've done the I think I ate somebody that knew that at some point. Um, I am only three years old. True, technically, or three hundred, depending. It, it it yeah we we got weird numbering systems. You're you're three hundred years old in in Ublek years, but you're only three years old in human years because that's when you split off. Anyway, so. Uh, you also know that for the lore that is connected to Arax, um, Loth is known as one of the deceivers. There was Tiamat, Loth, uh, I think I listed as Modius in that. I, I'd have to go check the other document. And uh, Sutter, the, the Lord of the Fire Giants, plus the gods of murder and uh, like Baal and all of them. So the, the evil deities. And oh, oh, this this loth. I'm just guys, I'm just letting y'all know this loth guy, our loth lady, not very cool. No, not, not very good, not cool at all. Gestalt elsewhere, there's a cleric that met her that's like, she's just a fucking wine mom. Why would why would loth want a religion based around elves being the best when she's a Drow it, goddess. Drow or elves. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but not high elves, which is what's in charge of the theocracy. Also, don't be an uh, elf racist. Well, hold on, Pow hold on, hold on. Power. The two, the two of you. Okay, you said it. Uh, roll me the everybody there with Mulak saying power. Roll me a religion check. <laughs> and while y'all are on that, jumping back to Tarl. Uh, Tarl Dreyfus has lit up a pipe. And is offering you something from the bag that he had on his hip. Before I address that, can I hear what this voice is saying in my head? Uh, no, he has not addressed you directly. Other than when I said everybody could hear it. Uh, when he said, I've been here 2,000 years, you heard that. Okay. Uh, I so still say y'all need to cut him down. Cut him down, and I take a toke off the pipe. Uh, it is, it Tar. You know this, this, this pipe weed, this, uh, this tobacco. It's some that you gave Dreyfus a while back, so it's good. So, all right, let's look at this. Arvax, you don't get this, but everybody else does. The way gods stay gods, or something becomes a god, or gods have any power, is worshippers. Even if they're not worshiping who they think they're worshiping. Well, here's the thing: in a power in, in, in a in, in a multi god system, if if Loth set up the uh, Loth traps all the other gods, Loth sets up the church. All of it funnels to her. Yeah. Ah. Okay. So but she's like up. multi level marketing. Yeah, yes, she's, she's got a she's got a magical Ponzi scheme happening right it's now. It's called my magical my life magical. Fuck my we'll get, my brain. We'll get there. Um, it's Godway. Wolf is just <laughs> selling. It works on Facebook. What? Yeah, have you ever seen someone selling? It works. It's basically it like it's basically yes, like I have plastic met my... wrap. It, it's a hardcore MLM. Yeah, it's basically just plastic wrap you wrap around, and it's supposed to make you sweat and lose weight. Because that's how it works. So it's going to give you the diarrheas. No, it's not no, going to make just you gonna... sweat and lose weight. It's got some fancy like cream thing that like actually permeates your skin and goes and burns the fat cells. Don't you know? Yeah, that's bullshit. If oh, I damn. wrap if I wrap plastic around my gut, it's gonna make me warm and make my tummy have the bubbles, and then I gotta find a potty. Poor Hewitt's stomach, defeated by plastic wrap. It's the reason why. There, anyway, I, it's the reason I can only wear my leather gut guard and costumes for so long at conventions. Anyway, so uh, y'all figuring yet? Yeah, Loth is doing a power grab and has been doing it for a hot. Two millennia! Yeah. Yeah. 
Ooh, the entire okay. his, the entire history of the Elfim theocracy. Wow. Okay. Um. Yo, so, they, they cut him down. They release power. Wow, so, I really came in a in a spot, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. You got some. Uh, you got you got some timing, kid. Um. And I'm gonna look it back at back. So, so we kind of got it, right? I mean, can we release you? The spell is bound to her. Okay, he said the spell's bound to Loth. So we just kill Loth. That seems a bit tricky. So we have to kill the spider drow goddess to release you. Easy. Not kill, banish her. She is not from this plane. Uh, oh. Where the hell is she? Oh, Philoral. Where's that? Uh, the capital of the Elf. She's, oh, in, she's oh. in the capital of the church. Oh, of course she is. That's great. Wonderful. Oh, a field trip. So, this is just out of my own curiosity. If we were to be able to banish said evil drow goddess, and you all were set free, you're not cool with how the theocracy works right now, correct? No. You'd fix that? Like, try, or try to get people to realize it's bad? Yes. All right, that's good enough for me. Look, I don't... I know you You called me tainted. I don't have a problem with any of you. I have a problem with what I thought your religion was doing, and it's not yours, so... You okay. Still, you still follow the nemesis wife. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Your, the religion that we all thought was based on you has a big part to do with that, so. No. Before this, your chief god took my arm as I took his eye. Yeah, I know the story. Sorry about that. I didn't have anything to do with that. Whoopsie, took your arm. Oops, all arms. <laughs> <laughs> arm bars everywhere. Okay, so we go to the capital and somehow banish Loth to her own realm, and it'll break the curse on all of them. Fun! Unfortunate. Y'all just hear from. Oh the, man, Dreyfus hasn't heard any of this yet. Y'all just he? hear from in the back as Dreyfus passed the pipe back to Tarl. Do we need to cut him down? No! Long story! Uh, Give us a second! We can't, actually. Tarl, he looks at you. I think we have to go down there and do it ourselves. They're not gonna do it. Just stay there! How do we get back up there? Y you'd have to climb, but... Uh, Corlon... Uh, there is a moment where you actually hear him inhale. That's disturbing. Oh no, it, it's along the lines of, uh, remember in the first Hocus Pocus when they brought the zombie back and he inhaled and there's all the dust coming through the stitch lips? Yep. Yeah, it, it's along those lines. Ugh, that's disturbing. And he says, as you are now. And any, anyone can hear this. You will not be able to defeat her. I can grant you a small portion of my power I have left to freely give to aid in your hunt for her and your banishing of her. Okay. But you must freely accept my blessing. All of us or one of us? 
this will not be a single hero's action. Yeah, y'all have met Super Kami Guru now, uh, Gestalt. You have met Super Kami Guru, who is going to unlock your hidden potential. I need an adult. I am an adult. I am the best thing about this series, and you will quote me for years. No. So he said we can't cut him down, right? Yes, he said y'all you, you, would not be able to cut him down. You would not be able to break the spell because he's he's literally woven into the tree by the rest of the pantheon of the elves. Can I, can I try anyway? Yeah, so... Cut it, cut it with my sword. Totally. Uh... I'm, right back. I'm gonna take a dog out. I'm gonna try that. Alrighty. You gotta get yourself zapped. Uh, roll me attack. Uh, I'm assuming you're getting on your broom. Is it Perry? Are you stopping him as he's now gotten his vision back and he seems to be doing something? Uh, no. I mean, I don't think I have a reason to. <clears throat> I don't know if that's going to turn out well, but I do like power. I think I like power. That came out bad. I don't mean it like that. I don't know if I'm allowed to accept a blessing from another god. Am I? I don't know. This is weird. This is uh, uh this is the best part about not really worshiping any god. I'll okay. accept blessings from anyone, provided well, that it's not like a sacrifice or something. Before I do it, though, I'll be like, "Will this kill me?" In your, you see him. Possibly. Wait, can he hear? Because of I, his room. I, t- I took it off. Y'all, oh, okay. y'all, y'all no, no one no one is aware of this. No one knows that I have that ring. Uh oh. when do I remember did those look super magical as well when I saw? Uh the threads? Yeah. Yeah. They were a dancing rainbow that uh, also added to the sunshine that blinded you. Yeah, I think I'm going to pass. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to change my mind. So are we... Are we accepting this gift from this guy? I mean, we kind of need to, but I feel like for me it's a conflict of interest. What? It's for the greater good. Think of it like that. Okay, yeah, but I don't want what happened to Dreyfus to happen to me because I accepted a blessing from Carlon. What happened with Dreyfus? I forgot, you didn't know. Long story. Dreyfus, is he uh, is he Dreyfus, like impotent Dreyfus, now or something? Yes, because he did something for the greater good, and which I said sounds like you need to find a new god. He was a paladin well, like it, me, and he lost his powers. Well, at the very least, uh, he's a good person. I think uh, you know incompetency happens to many people. You know what though? He maybe he just found a new god. Hey, can you help Dreyfus and give him his powers back? Or were you the god that gave him his? Power? How's no, that work? He was getting them from those. <laughs> as and as, thought he was getting them from him. Yeah, oh, as as oh. they as they say that, you hear that from Coralon in your head. Oh, oh, he's had a bad year. He's had <laughs> a bad year. Dreyfus has had a bad life. Well, yeah, but he just kind of was plotting along last year. I think has upended a few things. Oh, do, do you think that the new name I gave him is a good name for him? <laughs> No. Not th- no, not to keep saying I love. <laughs> no, that is a terrible name. You should have it's never done name. that. It's a damnable uh, name. Yeah, I think this is I think that's more self insert than anything. Can't, but uh, th- serious <laughs> question though, can you give him his powers back? I can I think he'd be very happy about that. He seemed to love you. I mean he he legitimately thought that he was he was getting better him, yet. Can you make from... can you make him not? Oh God, what is it? What does he think that he is? No, like a, like because a slave, he's... a slave or whatever. Can you like we, make we'll, him not that? We, we can address that later. 
with everything that's going I, on. They're... I could, but he's all the way up there, and I can't do that. Drive this! Come here! <laughs> what do you mean? He can't fly! I, 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 I wiggle my pseudopod arms at Dreyfus. D- Dreyfus hears the yelling. Is that an order? Oh my god! Yes. I think I think all I think at that you're... point, all three of us just look up at him and go, "Yes." Dreyfus. Well, Locke, you're the one that can fly. Go get him. Dreyfus is going to slowly start making his way down to. It's an order, Taro, sir. I'll go get him. Are you still just staying back and watching as Dreyfus begins to start climbing down? Tarl. No. Oh. Yeah, because all I'm seeing right now is nonsense. Can you do the so door thing again? Is 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 Tear in there with you? No, he's not part of this pantheon. Okay. Because right, so, uh, if so, I think because uh, and I'm gonna look at Arvax because if he because if he was, I don't think we'd be able to stop Tarl from going to, from going there and just the hammering point. everyone. And it's, it's just the but elven you, gods. You there. just hear in your head though, his uncle was on the island though. What? To to Mularn when he asked if Tyr is in there. He oh. said no, but his uncle is on the island, though. Do I know what that means? Uh, roll religion for me. Well, he does it. So, to be clear, because I don't know he's talking to Mularn, uh, we all have to accept this gift for us to be able to defeat Lulz. Not all of you have to accept it. However, it's a group taking, project. Taking her down is not, or just banishing her, will not come easy. And it is not the action of one individual that would take her down. No. That's a group project. No, but yes. I'll accept it. As you say, you accept it, a small sphere of light is ex- exhaled from him, and it comes and rests in your hand. I'll look up, look up at him going, I will accept it as well. Same happens I, to you. I want the light. It, it, wait, what? Weren't you, go, weren't you getting Dreyfus? Mular, Mular? Oh, does, does Dreyfus need to have... Dreyfus can have it instead of me. No, no. It's... Uh, no, you were across the way getting him, is what I was saying. Oh, I thought all this was in our head. It, it is being said in your head. And... yeah, yeah. You're not out of the hallway yet. All right, so the first person that I've actually got something written down for is... And some of these abilities might have to be worked around, so it's kind of a, a new experimental thing. So, uh, Gestalt, you have something. Uh, and I'm going to go through for everybody. Uh, so the twins have accepted Perry or Arvax. She'll accept, yeah. Yeah. Question, can Dreyfus take it instead of me? It seems like he's willing to give it to each individual that says they accept. Okay, I'll bring Dreyfus in and get him. Do you, get oh, him hold on, you go to get Dreyfus. Do you explain anything to Tarl, who is sitting there smoke, smoking, looking grumpy at y'all like, uh, Tarl, is it safe to say you're the dad that's trying to pick up kids that are late for whatever with whatever they're doing? No, oh, I'm the dad that's about to fucking leave because they won't show the fuck up. <laughs> uh, he's given out blessings, but you have to like accept him or he something. Has no context. <laughs> he, 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 no, you not gotta here. accept not him here. into your heart. Oh the, the, Why oh, did I send Mulaka? Not Tear. The the other guy. So he's not Tear, so why would I accept a blessing from a god other than Tear? You don't have to. I was just saying, if uh, this is actually Dreyfus's god, I think. Mulak, are you actually explaining to him what's happening, or just random shit? It's literally what's happening! I think we both know it's just random. Yeah. 
I, I think we oh, both also, know the answer is both. Also, Dreyfus. Uh, oh, so. no, we sent him up there to tell Dreyfus. It turns out that you <laughs> have been accidentally worshipping Wolf. And the your, fuck? Your real actual god wants to talk to you now, and you're not in trouble. I don't why, think. Did, why, why didn't we steal the broom and go up there? Y'all all here cursing in Infernal to a degree that fire... If anyone had a torch, would have actually lit slightly more. Dreyfus, if you come with me, he's going to give you your powers back and probably give you a blessing. And you don't have to, Taro, because it's like he said something about your uncle or something. Or Tyr's uncle. Or maybe he's Tyr's uncle? I don't know. He's not Tyr, though. He sent the wrong brother up there. Oh my god. What do I know about Tyr's uncle? Um, with a 23, you know that, uh, let me make sure I'm doing this right, because I, because I, I've been informed there's a couple times I've misremembered things. Now, is this, is this an ability and an action, and how many times can I do it a day? Oh. Shit, I was slightly off with this, because I thought he was... Uh... Oh, yeah, well, he is either the son of Odin or the son of Ymir, a giant. Uh, so we will go with the other one. You know that uh, Tyr's father is Odin, and he does have uh, brothers, the most famous of which is his blood brother, Loki. Did that come through? Yeah. Mulok, find out which brother. Okay. So, Drive, is he coming or not? He has already slid down and is sprinting. And oh, no, get on my broom. And find out a location of that brother. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, oh man, he just slid down the whole damn cliff by himself. That's, He's pissed. That's kind of, that's, wow, that's. That was That's kind of impressive. impressive. He yeah, actually, he really actually put his shield under his ass and actually went down. That was pretty cool, actually. That, 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 huh, that, that's neat. Snowboarding underground with no snow. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to pick drive us up on the broom and take him so he could, like, be face-to-face. -face. Oh, no, if you do that, he is just, he is full-on sprinting, like, Straight on. On. I have to take you up to him. Get T on the room. We're, we're down. T1000 T1, sprint knife hands, man. But he and Tara were up. We were down. I know, but he's not. He isn't he up higher and he can't. He won't be able to get like right up on him. We're all up on him. him. Yeah, no, nobody else seems to be up on him. I mean, I figure we were all relatively close. He's like way up in a tree. I mean, I figured we were all as close as we could get. Well, I can take him closer. And that's like his daddy. His real daddy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, you could try to grab him! <laughs> he's I'm just, not strong enough for he's that. He's trying to give him upsies. That's all he's trying to do is give him upsies to dad. Okay, I admit we sent the wrong person to get you. The fuck?! <laughs> Breathe. You think he's? You think he's? You think? Yeah, he, you think he's mad? Yeah. 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 yeah so, he's mad. um, this is Coralon. I am goddamn aware of who that is. Coralon's being held into that tree by all the other gods in the pantheon, and they've oh. been here for two millennia. You just watch his face. He blanches. Because Loth tricked them and trapped them here, and she started the theocracy. 
he holds up a hand, walks hey, over buddy. to he walks <laughs> over to a crack in the wall and just yell sticks his face in it and just yells. Yeah, let's give he, him a minute. You you want some orange slices? Let's 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 let's, let's give him a minute, Mulard. Let's give him a minute. Wow, he's upset. Uh yeah. Yeah, that's th normal. Th this I look at Coraline, he was what he thought was a paladin for you and kind of lost his powers helping us. So, I am, I yeah. am a, I'm aware. He's not having a good Question. day. Question. He did I a greater good, right? Yes. And that's a good thing. Yes. You don't need to find a new god. You got a good one. Let's, let's, let's just leave him alone for a sec, Mulak. I think he needs to throw up. <laughs> I'm not going to actually do that because because you'll get upset and might. I do. Mm. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. You, you've been queasy, and so yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm typing stuff up. Give me just a second. Is Tarl still just staying up there? Oh, sir, uh, Corlon, which which brother of Tyr? Lofty son. Lofty son, and where is he? He was in the cave earlier. In this cave? Mm. Son of a bitch. Are, are we hearing this too? No. Damn it! What's he saying? Yeah, we um, wouldn't know I'll, he was talking to him. I'll start heading back to, to Toro. Ah, damn it. While, the, while y'all are doing that. We need to not use him as the messenger boy from now on. I mean, it, it's fine. Is it, though? He eventually gets it. I'm amazing. If, no, if nothing else, he gets he gets enough of the information there that they, they, we, can, we can fill in the rest. Concerning getting help taking out Spider Lady. Technically a blessing for another god, but part of my oath is trying to make things better, and this will help make things better, so suck it. That's true. Also, um... That's my argument, and I'm sticking with it. So, I... do you like him? And I agree. And it's not like it's not like it's a it, it, it's this it's a this is a blessing of a god. It's not like you're swearing an oath of fealty to him and yeah. renouncing, renouncing your 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 god or your powers. It's a boost. Plus, the, plus isn't the plus isn't isn't one of the big tenets of your religion? Hey, don't look at me. Yeah. And I, I just elsewhere, don't Grim, cause... elsewhere, Grimush, ignore me. Ignore me! No, it's like, ignore me! <laughs> but. Alright, so Mulak now has his blessing thing written down. Gestalt, you have yours. Yeah, I was asking, uh, like, how many times can I use this a day? And uh... Oh, uh, up to your proficiency modifier. I didn't write that. Down. Okay, and is it like an action, free action, bonus action, reaction? Uh, it is a not in combat kind of situation. Ooh, this is a. That's why I said dead. Now I'm kind of very curious. Uh, everybody that's can say their stuff. Weird. Huh? I'm not going to say what it is. I'm just going to do it once I get a chance to. Dreyfus, you okay over there, buddy? <laughs> got, or, got it. Got it. A couple more minutes. One, yeah, one, five more minutes, got it. So, Do you want to speak to your BFF yet? I, I, I think Gestalt, it's best to just leave him alone for the moment. He's, 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 go, he's going... I think... Uh, so... You came to send. You came to sentience, uh, uh, 
Mularn now has his ability written. Uh, just gener- generally speaking, uh, you came to to came to sentience relatively recently. Um, do you remember the first time you felt any type of emotion and how kind of overwhelming it was? Oh yes, uh, very early on. Uh, do, you, do you remember? How, do you remember how? Do you remember oh, how God, it I happened? Wrote, I wrote it on Peregrines instead of Mulox. Good job. Uh, do, do, do you remember how it happened every time you had a new emotion? Yeah, he's doing that all at once right now. Oh boy! Yeah, big, big feelings. He needs he's... a nice, cool Kool Aid. Maybe some orange slices. Maybe some orange slices. Carl, do we have orange slices? Are you just yelling this back? Yeah. Okay, now it's on Mulak's character sheet. Parries. Maybe. Think Drive is going to need some orange slices. Okay, Mulak, you're flying back to tell him, right? To tell Taro, yeah. Tell him, because I can I can role play that out while I'm typing. Okay. If you uh, a- if you ask the god questions, I might not be able to respond. He's like, sorry, I am having to type this up real quick. All right, Tarl, I got the answers for you. It's a uh... oh god, what did he say? I like I Kyle don't remember. It was something son, lofty son, lofty son. And he was in this cave. Well... I think uh, the god man is typing something. Yeah, is it? Is the noise getting popped up? Am I, no, am, I'm am, just, I loud, just... am I loud typing? He's buffering. Uh, no, it's he, he said he said this to Tarl, so I'm waiting to hear what Tarl does. Tarl proceeds down the chamber. You're going down to the tree now because you heard that Lofty Sun was in the cave. Yeah. Do you want to ride? I'm a dwarf. I'm underground in a cave. I'm perfectly at home. Okay. He just tumbles down. I'm not going to make Tar roll because I'm pretty sure he is stomping hard enough to make his own stairs. Is this a, cool. is just this just the thing I always have? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got pineapple juice all down my shirt. Shit. Hmm. I like the name of it. What a, what a great god this guy is. You realize that no one would actually believe this. Except hey, maybe, stranger except, things have happened. That maybe Pryor is just there. If she lived. This is uh, Bill Murray. What, the god? Yeah, he's like, no one's ever going to believe this. <laughs> hey! It's Groundhog Day, technically, because I'm just always here. All right, Perry, you got your blessing. Make read that over and make sure it makes sense to you. 
Okay. Will do. So Dreyfus comes walking back over very, very concerned. You okay, buddy? No. You want some orange slices? I think Tarl's got some orange slices. You want some orange slices? He turns and looks at Tarl, like, just seriously dwarf stomping his way directly towards this deity on a tree. I don't think that he has orange slices, or if he did, he's all out of them and only bringing whoop ass. Looks at Mulak. That joke didn't carry like you said it would. I sling a handful of orange slices at him. <laughs> Just splatters across his armor and face. One thing that I know Taro always has is a can of Wolverine. He, he did say he could give you back your powers. You want him. Turns and looks. And you watch him, a uh, moat, come floating down into his hands. Cool, that's a yes. All right, my headset died. I had to plug it in. So if y'all said something to me, I didn't hear it in the past like three minutes. Oh, the, the god! Oh no, just, the exposition. God just talked to you personally and how you're his favorite and that he loved you the most. I knew it. But since you didn't hear it, it didn't. It never happened. So it doesn't yeah, count. Yeah. <laughs> when Tarl gets to the bottom, he looks at this thing and he says, "Where in the cave is he? Where in the cave is who?" Uh, as you say that, you hear in your head, he just left in the form of a bird. He had a cloak. Damn, Tarl didn't even need a wisdom save for that. Tarl is so mad at this point, yeah, I'm not, not just... like, <laughs> I don't need to introduce that mechanic, because then I think Perry's going to go, I'm so mad, I don't have to make a wisdom save, Hewitt. <laughs> I am raging and I don't need to do it. I need the manager right now. <laughs> what kind of bird? What kind of bird? Because I'm going to kill it. <laughs> he left as a hawk. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Lofty Sun is the same as Loki. Yeah, Loki's la or Loki is known as Loki Lofty's son. Wait, what's he talking about? Who left oh. the cave as a bird? What's it? What's it? That uh, elf man. Uh, you know the one that uh with the armor, you know that that tried to kill us. Well, the one that tried to kill us went through a a, a mirror, which he was in. You you said something about him being in your dad's office. Yeah, but yeah, but what about the one that didn't try the, to kill us? The other one. Who who is he talking about, Tarl? That this guy it might have been it was Loki. I don't know. Who that is. Loki is the brother of Tyr. I'm going to do a religion check. Or I uh, should say uncle of Tyr. There you go. Sorry. All right, Arvax, I got yours written down. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, what was the question again, Gestalt? I, I'm wondering who Loki is. Uh, with a 22, you obviously had consumed at some point in your time a follower. 
Uh, and Mularn just knows this with a nat, like so many nat twenties from Mularn on religion. <laughs> like, That's awesome. Oh boy! Hey, I know that guy. I know that Loki guy. Uh, Loki is the brother of Odin, head of the far northern pantheon. A lot of people in Ibavis and Iceheart and the northern part of uh, Bozoth and Akers. All these northern continents kind of worship these deities. They are deities that came from another world and took up shop here a little bit. They franchise. I should say they franchised. Um, but Loki is a god of chaos, a god of tricks, a god of magic. And most notably, in most of the myths that you remember about him, kind of a general shit. Not like a full-on evil all the time, but like, that dude's an asshole. And I don't mean that he, as a He's term a of bit endearing. of a rascal. A step above rascal, maybe scoundrel. He's a dick. So, what, so Loki was here? Who are you asking it, are you, to? Uh, Tarl, if he's... Walking up. That's what I was told. Well, Wait, that's interesting. So is the Loki one the one that told us that the Holy Wind was expanding? The one that went to the, the one that uh, went to the north. Initially, I mean, before. Yeah, I was asking that in character. Yeah. Oh wait, you're asking everybody else in character. Or are you asking the god. I was asking everybody else in character. So oh, we yeah. met two gods in one day. Yeah, yeah. it seems that way. Maybe. Wow, what a day! Y'all have some luck. I, I gotta say, really impressed. That's the way you want to put it. I love you, Hewitt. <laughs> I, I I think I've got these balanced for everybody. I might have to add a little to Gestalt's. The only is reason, it, the only is reason, Arvex get a, does Arvex get a plus six to hit? You know, Fuck to you. balance her out to make her. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> Dreyfus is just looking there, and you actually see that his uh, the color has returned to his face. How uh, you feel? You feel magicy again? Draws a sword that ignites in the flames. Hey! Look at that! He's back, boys and girls. I'm you gotta go. watch out but with, with swords and trees. Apparently they can, you know... You know what? It's probably fine. Yeah, I think this one's gonna be fine, Gestalt. Uh, I believe you were about to give your big statement of uh, intent. So we are uh, talking to Dreyfus. Oh, I'm going to kill my dad. <laughs> okay. Oh, cool. Best oath ever. Not if I kill him first. Because my dad is totally the fake last name you gave me. <laughs> so, fist pump. He just holds out an awkward hand towards you. Hey, second question, Dreyfus. Can you just be a regular person now and stop being a penitent? Those are bullshit now. It's fucking awesome. No. He's back, ladies and gentlemen. Do you love Arvex? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> she A said great it. deal. She said it. I don't have to now. You know, if you got some kind of weird kink about seeing people do things, go up elsewhere for it. I'm not into that. Coralon, I wish I didn't have to see people do that. Just oh, you echo. probably see everybody do that. Echoes, echoes in all of your heads. <sighs> so? Okay, so special powers. Go to the capital. And, Spanish any, law. Anybody explaining any of this shit to Tarl? Mularn, you do it. So, okay, so here's what's happening. Um... Just a, kind of the TLDR. Um, 
the Church of the Elf and Theocracy, uh, which uh, both uh, which both me and my brother, as well as Dreyfus, spent our entire lives uh, living and working in, um, is an absolute lie. Uh, every god that it portends to worship is literally in front of us in one way, shape, or form, either the big upside down dude or the tendrils of energy that are keeping him sewn to the tree. Uh, it was done by Lolf the Spider Queen. And we we hate her, by the way. Just 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 to putting that out there. Um she is in the capital. She is the she is the she is in charge of the church, and we have to banish her in order to free this guy. Uh, and if you agree, he will grant you a boon to assist you on that journey. Yeah, that sums it up pretty good. Yeah, I can look at all right. That, that, yeah, that's that's pretty, that's that pretty much sums everything. It sums up everything up to this point. Oh, I look at Moloch. Also. I look at Moloch. See how easy that is. Basically, exactly what I said. Well, that sounds bad. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It is. However, I'm not so sure. I want to blaspheme there. I was kind of worried about that too, in regards to my God, but. I'm looking at it as this is to get rid of evil and to do something good, and that's not really going against your tenement, at least, you know, for me. If you, you all hear in your head, would it make you feel better if you just called it a boon? That's, what I call, that, 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 that's, what, that's exactly what I called it. Uh, so, yeah, it's just, it's, just, it's just a boon. It's, it's a power-up. It's, it's not like, yeah, it's, it's, it's helping out. It's, it's not like you have to worship him. Yeah, it's the favor of Tarl holds his hand up, like palm out. Stop. He reaches into his collar, pulls out his holy symbol to tear, drops to his knees, and begins to pray. So oh. I think okay. So, oh, he's gonna just gonna he's gonna ask him. Okay. Uh, All right. Cool. Roll me a religion check with advantage based on the location you're at. While he does that real quick, I'm going to ask Corlon. Um, so is just a regular old banishment spell enough, or do we have to do something special to get rid of her? You will need to do something special. Banishment is not necessarily going to work on a god. Ooh, that was why I asked. All right, Chris, I added a little bit more to yours to clarify it and kind of balancing it with everyone else I got. Okay, I'll look at it. I didn't mind it, like, initially anyway, but let's see. It, it, it gives you just a little bit more to kind of balance it out with what I'm giving other people. I'm curious, did you go Did you go with uh, the intelligence or the constitution check? Uh, I did both. Neat. Uh, t er, Tarl, you pray, and all of a sudden you come out of the mist and see a cloaked figure standing on the top of a hill, staring down at a massive chained wolf. And they seem to be making eye contact with each other as you come walking up. What do you do? Do I recognize any, anything, anybody, or any person that I know? Uh, give me a perception check. I'll allow you a free mulligan. Because this would be kind of a crappy time for a one. 
Okay, it's it's kind of hard to miss, but this tall figure does not seem to have a right hand. I ask, why chain the wolf? Because he wants to eat everything. And does that wolf represent something that I'm praying about? No. That is Fenrir. I come here to see him every so often. How would you react if I were to take a blessing from another god temporarily? Will it help you accomplish your mission in my name? I'm being told it would. However, I do not know the outcome. A blessing from another deity would be nothing more to me than another tool in your belt used to craft and to accomplish your goal for me. I'll turn and walk away. I will be serious about one god because it, uh, if this has been Gleam, I would have had Tyr ask him to get him his cheese whiz. All right, that's, so <laughs> that's because uh, he turned into Jimmy Buffett, basically. No, that wasn't Tyr. That was uh, Paylor. Yeah, I know, but he's basically Jimmy Buffett now. Yeah, we we turned Grumush into an overworked court judge. Paylor into basically Jimmy Buffett and Loth was a wine mom. So, yeah, the one a bit of rubber feet. Forgot about that. <laughs> That's actually, Loth would just want that normally. That wouldn't just be wine mom Loth that I made for Lost Seas. That would be, Loth, she would demand, it wouldn't be, I want you to, you are doing it. Or you're dead. So, so Tarl stands and he looks back at the, the upside down god says if I were to accept this what benefit would it would it have for me it will allow you to aid in the banishment more efficiently and effectively I understand that but exactly what will be granted the DM is working on that right now looking at a character sheet trying not to draw a blank it'll make you a mightier warrior. It'll allow your hammer to strike harder. In the name of Tear, for peace and honor, I accept. Cool. Let me type this up as a a sphere, a moat of light comes down into your hand. So, can you teach us how what special thing we gotta do to get rid of her? I am unsure. As part of my mind is also sewn shut. Ah, fuck. How can we find out? There is knowledge hidden. Whereabouts is... where? Once more, I am not sure. Fuck. It is hard having your younger brother stitched within your own mind. Yeah, that's, that's, that's weird. That's kind of weird. Un out of character, and say, Yo, bro, bro, what's this part of your brain do? I'm going to touch it. <laughs> Oak. Why do I always want to add two O's into Chosen? 
confusing. We all have that. We all have that one word that we always misspell the same way. I got five mine, of those. Mine, mine used to be Wednesday. Until you learn to say Wednesday. Even then, I still fucked it up. Now I do it in my head every time. Sorry, y'all. Yeah, I mean, do you think, dude? Well, this has been an interesting day. We're just learning all sorts of new shit. I'm sorry, we're having a bit of silence between things with Hewitt. Tarl looks at everybody else, says, the mission is clear. He turns and proceeds back up his staircase to where he was. Oh. Uh, you know, I really do admire his tenacity. Where do we start? Well, I guess we start by going to the capital. Do you know where the capital is? Do I know where the capital is? Y'all, you know what? I'm not going to make you roll for that. Y'all totally know where it is. Uh, I will change the map for everybody in just a second when I get done typing this. Yes, I do. It's that way. It's the, way, we'll... Tar it's the way Tarl went. But we also have to figure out how to actually... Vanish Lowell. Which might be in the capital, but might not. Let me see. Tarl, you get more than one attack, don't you? Yes, I currently have two attacks and uh, three of something else. Oh, you... So you get two normal attacks, and you also have that War Priest ability to, as a bonus action, make another attack. My War Priest is at three, and I have a Savage Attack and Channel Divinity. Okay. Okay, everybody's special abilities are posted. Give me a second. I need a beer. <laughs> I Quick, hope everybody... DM's gone. Let's kill God. Well, that's part of the mission, possibly. But yeah, with the silence of Hewitt doing, uh, doing the, the typies, I, I, I was looking at memes like an idiot. Mm-mm. Wait, uh, Moose, you're talking about the area where you had to get, like, the special keys? Like, not the usual yeah. keys. Yeah. yeah, one of those leads to Faruma Zulu. Oh my gosh, okay. So... But you can't get into the city of Faruma Zulu. It's, like, right on the outskirts on these floating, like, pedestals. I had got there really early, and there's a bunch. You can kill a couple of guys, and all I had was an arrow, so I would waste or a bow and arrow for ranged. 
so it would take like 30 arrows to kill one of them because they're so much higher than me. But boy, I gained like six levels. All right, I'm back. Hey, that, that's what counts. Okay. So, Tarl, just like, I have this blessing. I've turned around. I'm going. Uh, Dreyfus is going to quickly follow him. And I'm going to say this. This is about the time that, uh, please say your big one's name again, Chris. Kaladets. Kaladets has just made it down there. Oh. Oh, buddy. We're about to leave. Just turns around and starts following them. Well, okay, um, so to the cap to the capital. Well, maybe. Um, all right. So, does anybody have any other questions for God before we leave? Yes. So he said to start at the capital, right? Loth, he said Loth is, Loth is in the capital. So let me go ahead and I will switch y'all to the map of uh, Long Elb. It, did he say how we have to banish it? No, he, he does not know. Oh, then maybe we shouldn't start in the capital. Oh, it's on Long Elb. Yeah. Oh. It, is, it is on y'all are north of Stout Elb. There is the strait. There's the Elbian Strait between the two, which brothers because you went across that already. And we're from Long Elb. So y'all are from y'all are from definitely Mot, know y'all are from Mot Dryas. Um, y'all know that uh, the the crossing from Mot Dryas to let me make sure I remember this city's name. Do, 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 to uh, Justhera, the uh, provincial capital of uh, Stout Elb, takes about three days. But that also means you have to sail back across from Oblet to some part of uh, Stout Elb, unless you intend to sail around it. And the closest would be the land in the Hebon Diocese, or you could go across to, you could sail west and make it to Cod in the Codfile Diocese. That's the, the, dre or the, the, uh, over near the Grand Mire in the, uh, area on the, the western end. Or you could sail east and go near the Dresfold in the Arlen Diocese to Colbert. Those would be the closest major cities other than if you went down, back down to Perchbank on Stout Elb. But if you were going by boat, Perchbank is the closest. But there are other options, but Elfirol is on its own island that shares the same name very large island that is all the pr the capital is there but it's more or less a massive city church and then the rest of this island is considered the uh the holy mother's personal territory okay you also know you don't go there unless you're invited Dion, did you add Glory of the Forge to my sheet? Yes. That's what you just added? Yes. And it says chosen weapons. Do, do I assume that's multiple weapons? Uh, the way it's going to work for you is whatever weapon in hand, if that is your chosen weapon, uh, that is the one that gains this ability. So you could top this on top of Thresher. But if you switch to a different hammer later, it would go onto that. Okay. Whoops. I posted my meme in the wrong spot. Blast you. 
All right, I'm going to move us back to the map of Oblet. So, uh, any other, what were y'all going to ask God? I mean, we got three, two party, uh, a party member and two NPCs are now, well, NPC and a familiar, for the most part, are leaving. I know he said he doesn't know, but that he didn't give us like a hint of where we might be able to get any ideas from. He mentioned there are multiple places that have hidden knowledge. Right, but okay. He can't act. He like can't access that part of his brain. Oh. More or less, he had stitched to a tree with enough cognizant to know what has constantly been happening for the last two millennia. He does have some limited powers that he can throw out and do. But it's also like parts of his brain and parts of his body have been shut away from him. Literally a prisoner in his own body. Okay. Well, I guess we'll figure out how to get rid of her. And then you're just free then, right? Yes. And I'll re-raise the tree. Um, there is... Uh, I'm, I'm going to just go ahead and say this. There is going to be, with approximately 90% certainty... We are going to need your help once we're done. Because, well, yes, in truth, we are ridding the world of, we are ridding the world of this, ev of this evil. And we are freeing you and your family. Everybody's going to think we're just, we just killed the closest thing to God. And they're gonna not oh, be super because happy he us. will be instantly freed at that point, right? He will be. My point is, once we're you get out the tree, we the bad go, guys. we're gonna need his help. Right. What I'm saying is, he will be able to easily just be like, "I'm, I'm God," right? Like that should be a thing well, that he I mean, could do. I mean, we could consider, you know, lifting the veil of Loth, or unless there's like, like, it, it, unless sh she's got like a bunch of like people Here's in the, the inner circle. The theocracy is set up in a way where even if that does happen, it continues on in the way that it was created. Oh, that just means we have to just throw out the system. Yeah, well, we just I have mean, to, he's, he's already wait. said that's what they want to fix when they get out. Are, we, ju we just need to do a little revolution. Are we about to a do little, a little uh, restructuring of government? Wait, Gestalt, I've already tried to get us to have a mission of kill the government. Well, we don't need to kill the government. We need to get rid of the evil goddess that's running it so that they can fix it. I mean, it might have to be a run and gun situation. You never know. Right, but kill the government sounds like a really good plan name. Yes. I like it. Yes, Mulak. Personally. We can call it kill the government. It good. makes me feel alive and with purpose. And we all know that life has no purpose. So you got to push those thoughts down. And kill the government. And kill the government. For oh. once, Gestalt looks very serious. You see, you swear you see his little eyeballs squint. I look at Carlon. Well, I guess you'll know if we uh, succeed or not. If not, even oh, if we hopefully don't, somebody else finds you. <laughs> even if we don't. We will spread, we'll do what we can to spread the word that a 
know what's happening. Oh, maybe we can do a propaganda campaign. It's not propaganda. Stop no, using the word I... propaganda. What it is, is we have to make people believe what we want them to believe because it's the truth. I think well, it's I, better to keep sure that... a low profile with this than okay. going around well, causing Maybe we could just pass out pamphlets. Have uh, well, here's the thing. Tracks? So I already have an entire group of bards yeah, that go out there. Did. They're not dead. They're smart. They only do things. They're smart. They're smarter than that. Okay. And they know who to talk to for this stuff. And they're already out there telling the truth. So, but who's truth? Haha. -ha, I ate a philosopher. The, the truth that people should want to know. But a who's lot of truth? people. That's the problem, Mulak, is a Some lot of people, people... aren't going to want to know this. They're going to want to live in ignorance because it's going to fuck up everything. I hear Some what you're people saying. worship Tyr. Other people worship other gods that I can't think of the name of right now. Their truth is different. Yeah, but the problem is in this world, your truth being different is dangerous. That is true. Truth is always dangerous. Look, we need to fix it, and we're going to fix it. I'm just saying that maybe drawing attention to the fact that we're going to declare that Loth is running the church is not going to gain us any favor by the majority. I'm going to go out on a limb and agree with Arvax in that that is going to make our job super hard. However, I'm sure that there quiet. are. Let me ask you: Are y'all all still discussing this at the foot of the tree with this god that is crucified upside down before you? Oh, I mean, it's not like he's I, gonna. I, it's not like he's late for something, Hewitt. <laughs> I, I mean, I figure we were like walking and talking. Yeah, about yeah. It. I mean, you're not even gonna say goodbye. I did. Kind I of. did. I said thank you. I run up to the tree and hug it. I'm oh, like, god. thank you. Zap. You're welcome. You're welcome. We'll do our best. Aspic goes and runs up to the tree and hugs it. Aspic explodes. Oh no! Uh, he reformed. Yeah, he's he re fine. He reforms. He did it on purpose. He thought it would be funny and realized the joke didn't carry. It's like we haven't known you long enough to have feelings on you. Perry, uh, are you just now? You know your dad's name now. Yeah, she's gonna be like, thank you for that. Cool talking to you. Hope we can help. Bye. <laughs> You're just like Her. finger gunning by, because it's like, I don't know how to say goodbye to a god. Yeah, just gonna awkwardly See walk away. See you later. Question, D did I realize that, like, if I talk to the god, none of the other people in my group can hear me, right? Yeah. That's for sure? Yeah. Okay, in my head, then I'll tell him, uh, thank you, and, uh, I do know that I'm your favorite. Also, I wear a ring that stops communication to my brain. If you know that, can you bypass it? Oh, you know what? I'll, I'll slip it back on. As... <laughs> and because I can allow specific things, so I will let him know that he is allowed to do it. His response is, as I am now, I cannot. Okay, well, you are now allowed to, so you can. You are now on the whitelist. Welcome to my Christian Minecraft server. No cussing. Shit. A little... Oh, you're out. <laughs> oh, dang. Hewitt is already out of the server. <laughs> oh, God, did y'all put... That's a... Who posted a muck... Okay, it is Chris. Chris posted the mukbang. So the I, only I, I was just saying, like that's what my character's gonna be doing in future games. So the only person that is allowed to communicate telepathically with me is him. And that's it. Cool. Cool, cool. Our max just, just kinda look at it still kinda look at a Coralon, like sorry about your arm. I don't also, just so you know, 
just the the ring is also invisible, so no one can see it. So no one knows that I have that. Okay. Like my my character like really just doesn't care. I know. Uh, for for Arvax, uh, his response is, "You you should leave." Look, I know I'm on a different spectrum than you probably want me to be, but we're going to do our best. And then I'm going to turn around and leave. Okay, yeah, there's no response to that. So, uh, y'all make your way back up to the, uh, the chamber that Peregrine punched a hole in the wall and found God. Um... Which I feel like that's something that needs to be noted for future summarizations of this game. Peregrine punched a hole in the wall and found God. We found him dead. We're on a mission. Man, from- we're literally on a mission from Gad. From Gad. We're on a mission. Oh All the God! Dead. Now we got to commission someone to to do like the characters, but in Blues Brothers outfits. <laughs> As long as my Blues Brother outfit is unbuttoned to about point three, uh, like right above the belly button. Like just a little yep. bit of happy trail. Just a little bit showing. Just just all the uh, speckles from the scale. There, it's just the there is no happy trail. There is just the, the glitter trail. Mulak just has a little bit of a trailer underneath, just showing just a little bit. It's, anyway, his, his, his cum gutters are a little bit there too. What? And, 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 and Billy's flopping over his belt. What the <laughs> fuck is wrong with all of you? What in the <laughs> fuck? Claire knows what those are. Oh my god. <sighs> You're gonna get a spam. I, I wish I would need ignorance. Some, someone is laughing so hard it it's went Chris. above the, it went above the register of their mic. <laughs> It's Chris. I, I I just want. I don't think I've said this in uh in a couple of games. God, I love this game. <laughs> so anyway, you, you're back in the big domed room that you initially had seen the the not the not cannon uh Lauren uh go into, and then later saw the real cannon Lauren run the fuck away into because he got smacked real hard. Life and then was. I got- Smack back. Like life was good, and then he got the shit kicked out of him by Arvax and Peregrine. <laughs> like Peregrine in his face, insulting him. Ninety-seven HP in one frickin' turn, and it all got sent back at me. And you no, and no, you passed your save. Thank God. Or else that would have exploded. It just took me down to zero because I had 96. Like, damn, that was one time I have a really good hit every single time. <laughs> Ugh. Should so, we stay here tonight? Brutal. Yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, it is like. I, I'm realizing shelter. I'm still really tired. You look, you look rough. Yeah. Here, have a healing, and I and I touch her with the pseudopod and cast cure wounds. This bloop with the Gumby hand. <laughs> yeah. Actually, as I do that, you actually see like little contraptions within the pseudopod working. Hmm. He got the nano machines. What are those? Oh, it's just how I do magic. Hmm. It, it, well, you know, I, I don't have innate magic, but, you know, no, objects you. have magic. I mean, you can find magic anywhere. I mean, magic's everywhere. True. I guess we should probably just hunker down here and Late like, tomorrow. You do have the options. You could hunker down in this large chamber, or you could go back to the room that uh that the cannon had been using as a chamber. 
Oh, that's where I'm going. Didn't we kind of pill for everything from it? Yeah, you did. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to double check. It's probably warm, too. It also only has one entry point where this one technically now has two. Good point. So we should go back there. I mean, it's a large enough area that all of you can sit comfortably and the doorway or the, the entry is large enough to be blocked off. Um, once we uh, kind of settle in, I have one sending scroll left that I would like to use. Okay. Um, I've actually had this written out for a while because I never do when we were going to leave the cave. I'm actually not sending this one to Hagda. I'm sending this one to um, Orna. Remind me, Orna. Orna is my tribe mother. Hagda okay. is the chieftain. Okay, this is to your tribe mother? Yeah. Um, and I already counted this all out. So I just have it written out. Uh, the Orna has holy wind expanded towards you. Be on even higher alert. We'll be leaving Oblet to avoid contact with Woven Branch. Things are weird. Is that the whole message? That's 25. Okay. We are in the mire. Rotwood behind woven branch before have time but battle will happen Let's see how many words do I got left I think you're 17 cut the snake's head off. I think you have three left. Oh, Love she, you, sweetie. Oh, she messed... <laughs> it almost sounds like she was talking to somebody else as the phone call cut off. Oh, no. That's not good. Uh, I am going to uh, pull my brother into the office, into the the area where he was, where his desk was, where he disappeared from. Mm -hmm. Where there is a broken mirror. Where there is a broken mirror. Yeah, yeah. what's up? This is how he got out. And I'm going to point to the mirror. The, the the asshole? Yeah. That's not the problem. Okay. Problem is where he escaped to. How do you how do you know where he escaped to? Because I saw him because I saw him in the mirror before it broke. Okay. Do we you we you like you know the place? Yes, we know the place. We know the place. Brother, it was dad's study. Excuse me, what? Escaped and this mirror took him into our father's study. Into his study. Like, inside of it. He was standing next to Father's desk. His personal study, not his rectory study. He was in our home. How? I don't know. Have you s tried to speak to Dad? 
I'm going to pull out the black mirror and go, not yet, but I will. What is that? This is what I was working on the whole time. Every time I got a chance while we were on our way, while we were on our way and when we ended up on Ublet. And what does it do? In theory, it allows for it. It is a super sending. It allows for somewhere between three and five minutes of communication with someone back and forth in essentially a mind-based pocket dimension. You made that? Between me and... Yes. Congratulations, that's really impressive. I'm impressed. The issue... My concern with using this, and I will be using this, I'll be I will be using this tomorrow. My concern with using this is that because of how it works, which was the only way that I could get it to work properly, it is a connection of the mind between two people. That is a that is a that is something to worry about with me right hey, but here's the other thing too though i know we see he seems like a a secret fringe like oh no he worships things we're not supposed to but like turns out that's probably not true It doesn't change anything currently. I think he is... I believe that there is a distinct possibility that he is... One of the few that knows? I think he is... Or is on to it? I think he's a separate problem. No, I'm talking about father. Do you think he has an idea that something is wrong and... Probably not. He, how old is that? He's fucking old, right? Like he's probably two thousand years old. I don't think. I don't think he knows, because I don't think he would be. Do you think he has suspicion? He's got to be older than that. We're almost 200. He might have been young when he had you. Don't judge your dad's younger life decisions. <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, also, by the way, I added y'all's dad to people you know. Um, I don't. I don't think he does. Because... I mean the 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 tradition the traditions that we that we honor when the time's right everything that we keep hidden it's there's only so far there is there would only be so far into the church he that he would be able to get before he would gain this knowledge and by that point I'm not by that point I'm he would probably have been found out which pretty means cl- he's pretty clever though he is but we're also talking about an organization based solely around divine magic and look at right. uh, look at what they did to Dreyfus and, and what did he do he sent his to non-divine sons away. 
really. <laughs> I heard that too. That was that was, that was the chair. I just no, it more. wasn't. No, you wasn't because I heard it in the house before I heard it over Discord. Uh, but here's the thing: we have to go to the capital, so we will be close to him. Maybe we should head to him. Maybe, maybe he has some information that can lead us in the right direction. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe you of, can use that mirror of, to talk to him first. Out, out of character, y'all know that the only city that, like the there is, there's only one sea route between Stout Elb and Long Elb, and that is across the strait from Jastera to uh, Mott Dryas, or I mean, uh, not Mott Dryas. Wait, was it Mott Dryas? Yeah, it was Mott Dryas. Okay, I'm not messing up my own lore. Which is on Long Elb, though, right? Yeah. And the capital's on Long Elb, right? Long, it is on an island, a very large island. Uh, off to the off the coast. He's rich. He can get there. So here's my plan. My plan is tomorrow, once everyone is rested and awake, and before we leave, figure out who that guy was by doing your mirror thing? I'm going to use this mirror thing, and I'm going to try to get in touch with Dad. Right. But what do? how long can you talk to him in there? Three to five minutes. Okay, so... One, we need to figure out who that guy was. Two, try to quickly explain to him what's going on. And, and find out if he's okay. Obviously. Now, what if he's like held prisoner? Does your mirror still work? It's a mental connection. So it should. So, um, it should, unless something would block telepathic com t contact with him. What if he is in like a planar prison? Does that exist? Uh, uh, it's, it's not. This doesn't work in a planar. At least so. Not yet. If you can't contact him, he's either in a different plane or or we have the other worst thing or we have literally nothing to lose right but we can't operate on the nothing to lose we have to assume the best so what about mother if he can't contact him what about her I don't know. Do we involve her? She might know where he is. If this is worst case scenario. If but maybe he's scenario, cool. Maybe he's chilling. He's like, yeah, that's my buddy Greg or whatever, you know? If it's the worst case scenario, then that still leaves the question on whether or not mother's position in the university would keep her safe. Uh, you would know better than me. Guessing isn't going to get us anywhere. Yeah, we'll just have to wait till tomorrow and start at step one. About the about step one. I need use your you, mirror. Oh, I need you to get with everyone and I 
I need you to get with Arvax and come up with a plan to check me once I'm done. In case. What if I go to Peregrine instead? Peregrine can't tell if I. Uh, Peregrine can't tell if I'm fundamentally me or not. What if I go to Tarl instead? That may work as well. Arvax knows what to look for. You did a still special do, thing. I still don't a hundred percent trust her. Oh fuck you! <laughs> I'm like 90%. Yeah. I do. If you do, I'll do that then. But she has to follow my lead. That is up to you. I can't know what you're going to do. I can't what? know any I can't know anything of I can't know anything. Oh, cuz then it it he them it then he he may if i uh, he know he may know what i know so can I he infect anyone else like can he jump into me and then if i'm talking to arvax i don't think so i think it's solely from has from he spoken to contact. you why didn't you ask the the, the, the the Mr. Jesus God man about it? Maybe he could have just fixed it. Uh, no, he I, couldn't have. No. No, not not in the position he's in. Plus, uh, plus I was uh, a little bit preoccupied with the world-shattering revelation that our entire lives is built on worshipping uh, the Spider Queen. I mean, ours isn't, but. Because if our. What we were raised in was banned, then that's probably not corrupted, right? I would imagine. They really don't like each other. Right. Elsewhere, there's just Loth with some other dr or drow deity holding her back, pointing. On the other side of the table is the Raven Queen just making a snarky face. <laughs> some driders holding her back. Uh, okay, so... but it, You want to do this before the mirror? That I need to do this? You need to set it up for after I use the mirror. Right, so but it needs to be set up before you use the mirror. It needs to be set up before a, a okay. plan. Okay, I'll handle that before easy, I use the mirror. Easy peasy. So while you're using the mirror, find out if he's okay. Yes. Find out who that guy was. Explain to him what's going on. See if he knows where we could maybe get some information at. And you'll have to probably explain to him what's going on first so that he doesn't him and haul. Because you know how he's like, hmm, huh. And he thinks for like three minutes before he answers. You have yeah. to let him know, go, 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 go. Yeah, we're on a time crunch. Yes, he thinks like he thinks like you talk. Yes, eloquently, constantly. Eloquently. Sorry, I, I feel like someone in the party would have picked up on the y'all talk constantly and made us <laughs> would have laughed. So, Arvax with her stupid. Paranoia powers. Peregrine with her smashy smash powers. And Carl. Now, and now Dreyfus with uh, and now oh, Dreyfus yeah, with yeah, their, yeah. With, yeah. With he their... probably has he probably has paranoia powers too. He probably. They... They're the, they're like the same. 
kinda. I think so. Something like that. I don't. I don't know the. I don't know the the, the divine stuff. It's it. The divine stuff's really confusing to me. Like they get all. They get access to everything that they could possibly. It's weird. Um, and then and then and then, Tarl's the same, but totally different, right? Totally different. Like I don't like I, like I understand why you and I are different, but we still use the same kind of magic. Just it it, it it's inherent in you and. I and I study and and I've studied for it. So, so it, but it's, as it's the same thing as the as twins far, as the twins conversation devolves into them <laughs> trying to legitimize and understand magic. And I also add in at the end, and I'm, I think Gestalt is a shapeshifter. So moving past, he, that, so he, so he's like Peregrine. Moving past that to Peregrine, uh, y'all are now in this room. What are you doing? As the twins are over in a corner, kind of talking and looking at a mirror, you hear you hear uh, Mularn say, "We co- we talk constantly." As they go back into the middle of their lower, their lower whispers. Honestly, Peregrine's probably just could be listening to everybody right now about everything because Frecky's not feeling too great. So Frecky and Peregrine are both just going to listen for the rest of the episode. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry you don't feel well. No, it's fine. I and I don't. Literally, Peregrine herself doesn't have a ton to participate in right now, uh, unless I was feeling better and could think of better stuff, so I will listen. Right. Tarl! No, Tarl. Yes? What are you doing as we're winding down and the twins are in a corner talking about a mirror? Well, find me a corner and crawl up and rest. All right. DM, um, um, I can probably rightfully interpret what Orna said as keep doing what you're doing, right? Yeah. She also seemed to be saying we're about to have a fight. Go ahead and cut the head off the snake. Like, that wasn't her asking me to come back and help. It was to... She's saying take... keep doing what you're doing. Like, she's saying we're about to fight. We got this. We got the head off this snake. <clears throat> okay, I was just making sure I understood clearly. Anything else you're going to do, Arvax? Uh, think about that for a moment. I'd, pro- <laughs> I'd probably... um. Just kind of make sure everybody's looking okay. I'd probably ask Dreyfus, so, um, you good? Mm-hmm. So, no having to ask permission to do shit now, right? Nope. You sure you're good? I literally met God and found out more of my life was a lie. Do you need to talk about it, or do you just want to mm-hmm. ignore it? No. Talking is not going to solve this problem right now. Ignore it. Cool. I can get behind that. Just you got powers again. Yep. Now you're using this. Dab someone in the face. What kind of paladin does that make you then? I have no clue. You can make your own paladin. <laughs> Build a pally. You I mean, just, you could call it whatever you want, really. You, you go in there, you stuff the fluff into the little paladin action figure. You pick your weapons as you go around the room. <laughs> I mean, technically, you didn't make a new oath or anything, but it's it's it's, gonna, it's the uh, it's the oath of Richard. So he will technically be known as the oath of Richard Dreyfus. Wow, that is a painful joke. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave you to that. I was just going to kind of walk up with parent. You cool after finding out what your dad's called? Yeah, uh, as far as I know, it's just a name. But now if I hear the name, I guess I'll learn something else. You have a name to learn stuff about later, at least. Yeah, exactly. So, cool. My dad was apparently old. Apparently not when Coralon met him. Yeah, but I figured Coralon's like old. old. Yeah. I can hear you. 
Oh shit! <laughs> Like, it means you're way. very Corlon's wise. Like Forty. <laughs> Shut up, you kids! I'm in the basement trying to watch TV. Not really. <laughs> All right, and uh, Gestalt. Well, I'm gonna find a spot, and you're gonna watch all the clothes and the equipment absorb into me turn into a big pile and then you're just going to see my form turn into kind of a blob and then a square next to it because I'm going to bed and then I'll say well y'all have a good night's sleep just let me know if you need anything and then you just see aspects a little cube and why can I not remember the name of the oh, that's Kaladets is just a bigger cube with all the stuff still kind of floating in him with the mild, you know, white noise hum coming off. Let me know if that, that hum is bad or, like, we can always move him. Yeah, it kind of helps me sleep. It helps me sleep, too. Gets rid of the demons. Hey. All right, and uh, with that, this is this will be where we end for the night, and I will pass it to my wife for upcoming events and socials. Oh boy, that was a lot. <laughs> we learned some things tonight, folks. We got a boon. Uh, yeah. And mine has the best name ever. I am. I am happy with mine. I'm happy with mine, even before Hewitt changed it, because it's going to be one of those things where everyone's like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> that 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 probably fits. Yeah, because uh, because technically, your she recalled shaken bait because I helped. <laughs> Nice. You help create mine as well? Nope. Okay. We're going to ask you a question tomorrow. <laughs> now, I, I can answer questions for a little bit after we go off stream about any abilities. Okay. All right. So, coming up the rest of this week, we have on Thursday. Oh, you can start your Pathfinder game Wednesday, don't you? I do. Do you yeah. want me to cut a promo real quick? Yes, because I don't know anything about it. Okay, so, uh, the, so, like, on Wednesday, we are going to be doing a, our first real Pathfinder campaign. Uh, I call it the Redwell well Chronicles, because I don't, I'm not good at naming things, and but it is in our original world, original characters, uh, but it's going to be in the Pathfinder 2nd Edition. Uh, I'm really excited to do this because I've been like, it. I've just been craving it, and I've been working on it for a good bit, and I've been working on this uh, world for a good bit. So I'm hoping uh, everything goes well, and I hope if anyone that is uh, watching comes and watches it because we have a few of the players here with us, including the DM of this game. What what? Yay! You're 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 a player in my game, Hewitt. Oh yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, you're you're you're. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna reveal your character. That would be mean. His Who? character is bo bo Boonerific Moon Man. That's his name. And he's playing. I don't know. I I can't think of anything. Anyway, that's. <laughs> His character. That, that, have, are you familiar with Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur? No, I am not. Because it it because it's nothing like that. <laughs> cool. So we got Chris's Pathfinder coming up on Wednesday. Thursday would normally be Tears of Kairos, but um, Jed is not able to make it, so it says ah, we are going to be playing. Uh, Monster of the Week, run by Hewitt. 
with me, Spence, and Nasa called Moving Pictures. Am I right? Yep. Yes, Moving Pictures. So we'll be playing that Thursday night. And Sunday, I believe we have a uh, round table. Yep. And then another round. And we'll be discussing well, we the got, video games. We got we? toolkits, which will be mini painting. And then the week last weekend will be... Oh, I thought we had the video game one and then we had the OGL one. Yeah, but we got... Uh... Yes. We do, but we got shit before that. Yeah, we got the 22nd is toolkits, the 29th is video games, and the 5th is us discussing the OGL. I keep thinking it's later in the month than it is. Yeah, it feels that way. But, so we got all that. And then we'll be back here again on Monday to see what other insane shit we find out. So you can watch all of our previous episodes over on Team Bonus Action on YouTube. We are, of course, here on Twitch, Team Bonus Action, Team Bonus Action on Facebook. And we are there on Instagram. And uh, we are over on Twitter at, at bonus underscore team. Facebook and Twitter are currently the best ways to see when we are going to be going live. And you can also check out our website, teambonusaction.com. And remember that you can always donate to our current cause, which is the Drama Project. Uh, so give us a like, give us a watch, donate if you can, and uh, check us out later this week. Well, we appreciate y'all hanging out with us for this evening. Hope it was a, at least a little bit uh, entertaining and uh, worth the watch. So tune in next, folks. And until then, don't let your meatloaf.